Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie for Diesel Dollar Budgets and today we're going to be working on our cash stuffing for our second paycheck in November. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, please stay tuned for more. Hi guys and welcome back. So here we have our $800 for the fortnight. This is money that is after uh, Luke and I have paid our bills and just a combined amount that we want to put into our cash envelopes for the fortnight. So I'm just going to put this into the uh, cash tray and then we'll get started. So now that that's in the, envelope, the cash tray, I'm just going to get my wallet and see if we've got any leftover. This is a treasury wallet. You can find this on Etsy. Um, I still don't know whether she's sold out or not, but you know, just wait and contact her if you want have any questions about that. So I'm just going to open this up and I don't think we have any real rollover. There's nothing in groceries. There's nothing in petrol. Splash cash, there's nothing. I've also emptied out on my coins already. Miscellaneous is empty, but we do have two $5 notes. So I'll just put that down the side um, and I've also already put all of my receipts into the receipt jar app you can find a link to the side of you know uh, or down below where I have a code for receipt jar it allows you to uh, scan in your receipts and then get points to be able to get uh, some cash you know cash vouchers so if you sign up without with using my code you get 200 points and I get 200 points so it's a win-win situation anyway so without all that out of the way let's get stuffing this envelope I'm going to start with grocery shopping so for grocery I want 350 so we got 50 1 50 2 50 3 50 it's going into grocery shopping and as you see, can see, I like taking the old notes so that I've got them for grocery shopping because I'd rather get rid of them first. I then also want $50 for petrol. Get the petrol vouchers out of the way. Then I want $20 for my splash cash. And then I'm going to take $20 and put it to the side for Luke's splash cash. And I've decided that I'm no longer going to be doing a miscellaneous category because, you know, if we've got a spending envelope, that's sort of miscellaneous in the first place. So I'm just going to skip that and roll over doesn't get anything. So that's my envelope, wallet envelopes, or envelope wallet, bleh, my wallet stuffed for this fortnight. So let's move on to our sinking funds. So here we have my sinking funds binder and things are going to look a little bit different because I have updated my system. Um, I do have a video, you can check it out in the link above, where I've gone through and I've shown you how I've just set up my system for 2023. So this will be the first video using this system. So for savings, I'm going to take $50 and put that in here. Now I haven't added anything to the back of my uh, binders just yet, like any information about the, uh, what do you call it, the trackers. I haven't updated the trackers. So I'm just going to put the money in and then we'll continue on from there so in savings we now have 50 70 90 dollars just slipping that in there we've got a new envelope here which is called spending and spending is going to be getting 50 dollars so just put that one in there emergency is going to be getting 20 dollars so emergency now has 20 40 60 and if you're wondering why the uh, envelope denominations or the, the amounts in my envelopes are so low at the moment, it's because Luke and I did go and do our Christmas shopping and because we had the money in our envelopes, we just decided, oh, well, we're going to restart anyway. So let's just get all the money out of every, every one of our envelopes and then just spread it around um, just so like everything was paid for and, you know, we didn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, pets is combined pet uh, emergency and our pets envelope so I'm just going to put $40 in here so 20 and 40 pets now has 20 40 60 80 dollars in there gifts is going to be getting $20 so gifts now has 20 40 dollars and I'm going to put the new ones up the top. I'm actually really loving how the $20 
emblem looks in the front. Actually, I want to I put the new ones on the front. What am I doing? Because I like how it looks with that just popping out. Just looks nice having the fresh, you know, denomination there. Anyway, small things in your small minds. So here we have her birthday, and her birthday is going to be getting $10. So her birthday now has $10, $20, 30 $40, $50, $60. And because fair's fair, his birthday is also going to be getting $10. So in his birthday we have $10, $20, 30 Whoops. Try again. $10, $20, 30 $40, $50, and $60. Would help if I was paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, health is going to be getting ten dollars, so we've got twenty and thirty dollars in there now. Subscriptions is going to be getting ten dollars, so subscriptions now has twenty and thirty dollars. Keep confusing myself with how these uh, notes are. <laughs> Uh, travel is a new envelope and that's going to be getting $10 so it now has $10 in there wedding is also a new envelope and that's going to be getting $10 as well diesel dollar budgets currently has $20 but that's going to get $10 and so that's $20 and $30 and then Pile of Shame also has $20 at the moment, but that's also going to get $10. So that's all of our sinking funds stuffed for this video. Now onto our savings challenges. I'm just going to open this up as well. And again, I have updated these envelopes. So for our $5 challenge, I'm going to take those two $5 notes, $5.10, and then colour in two of these little paw prints. It's good just to, you know, start again and start fresh. I like doing it. And, you know, it was bound to happen eventually. So it's good to, you know, start off as you mean to go on for the new year. Even though we're not starting in the new year. But, you know, it was just time. It was time. So $10 challenge is getting skipped. $20 challenge is getting skipped. The summer challenge, I'm going to start early. So for the first day of summer, I'm going to colour that in. And then I'm going to colour in the first week of summer. Because, you know, that's what's going to... We get paid the opposite weeks. So the week after this, I will go for week two and week three. So that's going to total $25, uh, $35. So we got 20 30 and 5 going into the summer savings challenge so that's $35 just to start that off and I kind of like that we're going to be you know starting this one early as well uh, our YouTube subscriber challenge is getting skipped because I'm still at 336 uh, subscribers Hi guys, Editing Nat here. Um, I just noticed that while I was editing this video, uh, I had actually reached the 342 subscribers. So I'm going to go back into my um, YouTube subscriber challenge. Where is it? There, I'm going to fill in that $10 there for that challenge. Just because, you know, why not? I haven't, you know, put the video up yet and I did want to put in that $10 so I actually took money out of what my grocery budget was and um, just adding that $10 so now we're at 342 subscribers I think but in the YouTube subscriber challenge there is now 150 60 and 70 so thanks so much you guys for supporting me and I appreciate everyone following me um, this challenge is going to go towards a giveaway I believe uh, when I reach a thousand subscribers so the more people that subscribe to my channel the more this will grow and the sooner that giveaway can happen so thanks again and let's get back to the rest of the video yep. next is the Christmas savings challenge and I'm going to be starting this for 2023 so I'm just going to put $20 in there for now just to start it off 
And as I say, you know, I'd rather start off early and then, you know, worry about it, not have to worry about it, um, you know, later on in the year. Okay, so I can't have the $20 um, showing, but, you know, we'll just put that one in there. Should actually swap that out so it's a new one, but oh well. Uh, then I've got the We're Getting Married Challenge. I'm going to skip this one for now. But then I've got two savings challenges that I'm offering for free. So the first one is a 2023 challenge. So as you can see in this little challenge, there are 20 circles with $23 in there. So that you, by the end of this challenge, you will have $460. Um, I'm actually, because... You know, Australia doesn't have notes for their one dollar, two dollars. Um, I'm actually going to be putting twenty five dollars in it each time. But you know, this one is going to be free in my just in this description down below for the month of December. So please go and check that out and get your free copy of this to download. So I'm going to take the twenty and the twenty five to start it off and just color this in. Yeah. That was horrible. And I'm just going to leave that to the side because I don't want it to smear my new on my new envelopes. So I'm just going to put this into the envelope. And I'll just put the tracker back in it later. And then I've got another challenge that I wanted to start for 2022. Again, this one will be free for the month of December. And it's 2023 in 2023. So the goal of this is to get $2,023 into your envelopes by the end of 2023. This one I'm going to take fairly slow because, you know, it is a lot of money. But again, I'm going to start it early because why the hell not? So I'm just going to be putting $20 into that one this time. And just color that one in and again I'm just going to put this to the side to dry and with that all of our savings challenges and envelopes are stuffed so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and let me know if you're going to be changing up your system for 2023 I know that I'm changing up all of my envelopes and all of my um, planners and everything for 2023 but let me know what your plans are for for next year anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you next time bye guys